Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am working on week 24 in my 2023 Project Life album. I had a few extra photos this week and I thought that for the first time I might use one of those flip out 12 by uh, 9, 9 by 12, sorry, uh, page protectors. But this week happens to be on the like back side of um, a page protector, so I couldn't make the flip out work. I did want to use the extra photos though, so all I did was just cut down um, another page protector. That's the one that's got the nine three by four pockets. I just cut off the side that has the holes so that I've got the extra three pockets in there and it will just be kind of like an extra insert. I will just have to remember next week to um, print some extra photos for the other back side of that one. So I'm using the Studio Calico May kit, I think it is, for this one. I just, it was on the top of my pile. I quite liked the kind of warmer colours that I could see through the little zipper pouch there. Uh, and so I'm picking out a few cards. I did want to keep it a little bit simple because with the... I guess the extra photos in here, it's a little bit busy. I've got a really big enlargement and it is quite dark, I guess, but I could not like leave that photo at regular size. I mean, look at it. Three cuties taking a nap on the couch in the sun. Um, it had to be made an enlargement, so it is a little bit bigger and, and kind of the reason for the extra uh, insert that I need to put in here this week. Eventually I get my cards and my photos kind of shuffled around uh, so that they're balanced. I really liked those two polka dot cards, um, but I wanted to kind of balance them with the rest of the spread. So I end up using the darker one for my title, uh, title card for this week. And I'm going to use the other one down the opposite corner. So it kind of draws your eye along there. So as well as the Studio Calico kit, I'm going to use a bunch of Citrus Twist stamps. Uh, on this 4x6 card, I've got a couple of photos and they kind of belong together because we had a little movie night uh, with a sushi bake. So I want to create these two photos so that they look like they're part of like a whole. So I just used a little bit of the washi tape from the kit and it's not my favorite Um I did kind of cut it down to pick out the colors that I thought would work the best on here and just added that to the top of those two photos. And then I've got this cute photo of Willow and Pearl in a bunch of boxes. Um, and it says juggling all the things on the card. And it's not, you know, 100% accurate for that uh, particular photo, but I decided that it worked. So I placed the photo so that you could see the sentiment and then just added one of those little asterisky kind of of puffy stickers and then I'm going to move on to the main photo. I'm not going to add too much in the way of embellishment here but I did decide to add a couple of stamps. I can't remember the name of the stamp sets that I've used but I will link them down in the description box for you if they're still available. I used some gold ink for the cozy vibes stamp and then I'm going to use some of my moonlight white because it's my favorite. I just wanted to add the gold to give it kind of I guess a bit more of a design detail so that there are two different colored inks on there but also just to tie in those kind of warm colors that I've got going on and I really like how that turned out. Both of those ink pads need re-inking. <laughs> they are a little bit light but it still kind of works. Now as far as my title card goes I'm going to use these alpha stamps um, and I've thought I had heaps of room. <laughs> I should have planned it out. They, it, it does end up being a little bit squished at the end. Um, I probably could have uh, spaced these stamps a little closer together. I got to here and thought, Eek, how am I going to fit the dates in here? Uh, not the dates, but you know, like the week numbers. Uh, they do fit, but I don't end up with like a gap in there. I decided that I would I start with the four and work back for the two and hope there was a gap and there isn't. So I mean, it it 
it fits. It's just not exactly how I imagined it. I thought there would be a gap in the middle that I could add another one of those kind of little asterisky stickers into, uh, but there isn't. So I'm re rejigging how I thought things were going to go. You'll notice I have stamped that. I mean, it looks horizontal. Uh, that's because the cards run the wrong way. I've stamped it vertically just so that I could fit that word week in there. And so I've got this kind of space to fill up and I decided to use one of the cardstock tags from in the kit. Uh, it doesn't really serve a purpose other than to be a placeholder for where I'm going to put my date stamping, uh, which is fine. It still looked a little plain and I do go back in and add one of the puffy stickers again. I just... I'm not in love with how this title card turned out and I'm also totally fine with that. I don't feel the need to like have to be in love with every single thing that I do. Uh, it's done and that's good enough for me. Next up I'm going to work on my little sunrise photo. I mean is it really a week of project life if I don't have a sunrise photo in here? I'm going to stack a couple of these little scripty words to create my own sentiment. I'm going to stamp them in black so that it kind of looks like the, the sentiment is part of those tree silhouettes. So I don't mind that it's kind of um, like overlapping both the edges of the photo and the actual trees. So I'm stamping just this. I really love how that worked out. Um, yeah, super simple. It's only two stamps. I just used some Memento Tuxedo Black on there. And the reason I'm able, I say this again and again, but I always get questions about it. Like the reason I'm able to stamp so successfully on photos every time is because I print my photos at home. So I use Canon Glossy 2 photo paper. Uh, it is designed to absorb ink from an inkjet printer and so um, that principle works exactly the same way for ink from a stamp pad so it works perfectly it stamps perfectly every time I very rarely have any fails on there and it's all down to just the type of paper and printing at home I am keeping everything really simple in this spread so I don't have a whole lot more to do. I'm going to add a couple of extra tiny little word stamps. Uh, one under my movie night photo I just stamped directly onto the card because the background wasn't that busy. But on this 3x4 the pattern's a little bit overwhelming to stamp on top of so I added one of the smaller label stickers and then stamped that onto there. I just ran my journaling card straight through my typewriter and and then call the spread pretty much all done. Super simple. I'm happy to have kind of a 12 by 12 looking spread again this week. I've got to say I'm loving the 9 by 12, but I am missing the space of my 12 by 12 layouts. Hey, thanks for watching today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching, there are a couple of videos on screen. Otherwise, I'll see you again really soon. Bye.